Hello folks and welcome to the next part of our Project Orisk build. Now as you can see we've got an awful lot of Hydro X parts here. So Corsair has chipped in all of these lovely bits and we're going to be going through and doing the proper modding work now. So how does this all fit into the theme? So these are all shiny silver fittings. So that's going to be going very nicely with all of the brushed aluminium and kind of shiny metal that we want to have in the project. Also these blocks are all nickel plated so it all should fit very nicely. We're also going to be sporting dual loops in this build. So of course we've got two pump race combos. Now as I mentioned in the last video I'm actually not going to be using the reservoir portions of these because my particular design isn't actually going to have enough space for all of these despite the chassis being massive. So what we're going to do is we're going to build the reservoirs into panels again and we're going to be using the D5 pumps from these two bad boys and that's going to keep everything flowing around rather nicely. Now in terms of the fans we've got the new QL120 RGBs so one of the cool things about these, and the reason why I chose them, is that they've got the RGB rings not only on the front, like the old LLs had, but they've also got them on the back. Now that's good because it means we can actually put them in pull now, without them just looking a bit ugly. So that's going to be good, we're going to be putting these on the top of the chassis to get some air in, and then the rest are going to be, going to be pushing out of the chassis. So in theory we should get some nice airflow. So, what are we going to be doing to the Gigabyte components? Well, starting off with the motherboard here. Ooh, that's a weighty boy. So the water force does look very nice stock, but it's quite dark. Now what I'm hoping to do here is take all these parts, so these are actually just plastic, I thought some of them were aluminium, so we were going to have to strip them, but actually because these are plastic shrouds, um, we can instead paint them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint these in a sort of gunmetal silver, which should match up nicely with the brushed metal that's already on here, along with the heat sinks, and of course the other aluminium work we're going to be doing later. Combined with the water force GPU, so this has like a, I guess a screen on the front of the water block here. Now there's some LEDs behind here which shine through and it gives like a very wavy RGB effect along the front, which does look very nice. Um, but I think it would fit better maybe if we remove this and have some of the water block and the nickel underneath because it is a nickel plated block and it's really quite pretty. So it'd be nice to have some of that more visible. And then maybe we can see the coolant or something. So depending on what this looks underneath, we're going to peel this sticker off and then we might polish it, we might leave it matte depending on what the finish is. Obviously we're going to have to clean it up from any glue that's left over. But depending on what it looks like underneath, we'll figure it out when we get there. Now for the rest of the mod, we've got all this stuff. I can pick it up. Which is 5mm aluminium, so you've seen me use this before. And the reason I like using it so much is it's actually very easy to build a completely rigid structure using this. And we're going to be filling in the panels that we've removed from the uh, Coolmaster C700M chassis. And we're going to be basically replacing it with a bunch of this stuff and acrylic of varying thicknesses. So I'm going to, going to be doing for a lot of the distro plates a sort of a sandwich with clear acrylic on the top, which will give it a nice kind of glossy look. And then underneath, just so we can get some really good light diffusion from the LEDs, because we're going to be using some Corsair um, RGB LED strips inside there. That's going to be diffused out by some frosted acrylic, which is double-sided frosted, so it should have a very strong effect and get the colour throughout the whole thing. And also, the cool thing about doing like a sandwich is that it gets a sort of a milky look and actually it looks really, really good. So I used that in one of my previous builds and it came out really, really well. So, with all that said and done, let's hop to it and start painting up the motherboard, I think. <laughs> 